Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over how to co-op an Elden Ring because as per every other From Software game, it is unnecessarily clunky. Let's get started. Okay, so obviously I can already see all these signs, so you're probably being like, what in the hell? So we're just going to go from the first spot here. You need to find this sign here. This is assuming you want to do random multiplayer. Um, interact with that sign and from there it'll say you send your summoning sign or something like that that means um you can see the people's summon signs on the floor but sorry about the leg my pc is literally like bro give me a break but i can't in order to see those symbols you need to have the fur calling finger remedy now this is you can get this by crafting here let me show you so over in the distance there where that church is right in front of me that i'm looking at there's a, a merchant there that sells a crafting thing for 300. Buy that from him, and then you can get the fur calling finger remedy by finding the flowers. Just run around the area for a bit. You'll find a few flowers. You uh, are going to want a bit more down the line, but this will get you what you need to get. So you need at least one of those. Now, after you've activated that sign down there, then, of course, you just use the fur calling finger remedy, and voila. All the golden signs are going to pop up. Now, this is for randoms. You want, what about playing with my buddy? No, and obviously, if you want to leave your sign, you got to use the furled finger, which I don't think you can miss. I literally think you need to get it. Go to the multiplayer option in your options menu or in your settings menu. I've never been here, but... Um, so, actually, here is where you can find everything you need to co-op. Um, it, so, you, it'll tell you if you have the supplies. Now, if you set a multiplayer password, that is like, hey... This is our team. I'm only going to see someone, like, if, let's just use the example, one, two, three, and your boy puts one, two, three as well. Guess what? You two can only see each other. The group password, that's more of like a clan thing. Um, it's not, you can see summon signs with it, but you're going to see, like, the white signs, the death symbols, their phantoms more often. So, like, that, if you're playing with your homies, you guys should kind of figure out a password and set that up. You will see the summon signs more often. But it's also funner to see their symbols and them dying. And then the uh, multiplayer password, whatever that is, don't do one, two, three. Everyone does one, two, three. So figure out your password, you and your homies. One of you puts the summoning sign down. The other one uses the finger remedy to see the symbols and summons you. Now, when you beat the boss, assumedly the host and you beat the boss, it does not progress the co-op partner, just so we're clear. So you're going to have to run it twice, but... Most people do that anyways for the experience. And then lastly, this is a, I know it's not Dark Souls, but it's a Dark souls S game. These things are fidgety, man. They just don't work the way they're supposed to. So if you put a sign down and you don't see it, you know, reload, move to a different position, things like that. They just, sometimes they don't work. I know that's not what you want to hear, but that's how it goes. All right, that's going to do it for me. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.